Hi there, my name is Reese. I'm the CEO of Satisfy and Clean, and today I'm going to show you the step by step process on how to clean a filthy tractor cab. So, the reason why I clean tractor cabs is just simply because they're probably the dirtiest vehicle you could get your hands on. Farmers in my local area give a lot back to the community because they spend a lot of time farming and don't have enough time to clean their own cab. So, it's always good to give back, um, and I actually clean these tractors for free. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm cleaning the tractor cab is I assess the um, cab and look how dirty it is. Then I'll work from top to bottom. So anything that I clean from the top falls to the floor. So the products I use when cleaning um, the tractor cab, I always start off with a fingernail brush and an all-purpose cleaner from EZ Car Care called Citrus Wash and then just a simple cloth. So I spray it on, it breaks down the uh, dirt um, use the fingernail brush to scrub off the dirt and then wipe it with a cloth. So the next stage of the process is I clean all the control system. So where the uh, gear stick is, any buttons that control the electronics inside the tractor cab, I clean all those. They get pretty mucky so it's always good to use the all-purpose cleaner again to break down the dirt on the buttons. Then I use a detailing brush just to remove the dirt, it's really crucial that the attention to detail is at the highest level. Getting into the, all the nooks and crannies is super important because it doesn't give you the best finish if you leave dirt in between gaps and buttons. Getting all the mud off the pedals as you see in the video and then obviously hoovering that up um, is crucial. So during this process, I do use a vacuum cleaner. It's called George. You can get that from Amazon. It's a wet and dry vacuum. After you've scrubbed the floor, you can hoover up the dirt and the water at the same time. So just after that process, I go back to the top of the, the tractor and then I use something called Sleek from EZ Car Care and I polish all the interior plastics to bring up the best finish possible. I do uh, clean exterior tractors as well. It's a different process and you need different chemicals. The time it takes to clean the interior of the tractor is around about two and a half hours to three hours, depending on how dirty and how big the cab is. The process gets easier every time I do it. The first ever tractor I've done, I started on the floor and worked my way up. And then I quickly learned that that's not the best way because you end up hoovering the floor twice. So I think it took me like six hours and obviously you don't want to be doing that, so yeah. The more you do it, the better you get and the quicker you can do it. Some of the best reactions I've had from the local farmers is they can't actually believe how clean it is. A lot of their replies are, it's cleaner than when I bought the tractor, which is um, hard to uh, get my head around. But my attention to detail is so high that it is showroom standard um, and they do really appreciate it. They always say thanks and funny enough, they always call me back if they have another dirty tractor because they know they're going to get it for free. So. So yeah, the next stage of the journey is I want to keep giving back to the community and cleaning tractors. I also want to go international with this stuff and clean other sorts of vehicles and also want to get into boats. Um, so stay tuned to see what happens on the journey.